Her Majesty the Queen is in the diary room. Welcome to the Big Brother house, ma'am. Dear 70, 1.24 p.m. For this week's shop and task, housemates are embracing all things British. Big Brother has gathered all of the housemates in the sitting room. This is Big Brother. Hello. Would Rodrigo come to the dining room? <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, get over this side. Be polite, be polite. Can I walk it back on? Remember, for oh, school disco. Oh, no. Look! It's on! It's on. Oh, it's happening. Hello, Rodrigo. Hello, big brother. Rodrigo, for your part of this week's shopping task, you have a very special challenge. Yes. Rodrigo, last week you wrote a letter to Her Majesty the Queen. Yeah, I know. I'm really happy. As promised, big brother posted your letter. Oh, Big Brother, thank you very much. I'm so excited. I was waiting, waiting, waiting to come here to start my task and thinking about my letter. Thank you very much. If it was not you, I wouldn't be able to. Rodrigo, Big Brother has something important to tell you. Her Majesty does watch Big Brother. Oh, my God! No, he's joking. Serious. Rodrigo. Further to posting your letter, Big Brother also contacted... Buckingham Palace by phone. Big Brother asked the palace if Her Majesty might be able to pop him for tea. Joking. Rodrigo. <laughs> the palace said yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you're joking, Big Brother. Oh my God. Rodrigo, are you happy to have tea with the Queen this afternoon? Are you joking? I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I'm more than happy. I, I, I... Big Brother, are you being serious? Don't joke with me. This is very serious. I, I, don't, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to, it's like I'm dreaming. Rodrigo? In the box in front of you is a set of instructions. It's going to be doctored if it's not the real Queen. And Charlie should learn royal etiquette as your part of this week's shopping task. Do you understand? Yes. Rodrigo, the first part of your challenge is to learn the national anthem. Oh. When people have a private audience with the Queen, it is important that they sing the national anthem to her. It is Her Majesty's favourite song. <laughs> <laughs> Rodrigo, you must take the song sheet from the box in front of you. Yeah. Big Brother will play the national anthem to you now. <laughs> Oh, oh, this is funny. This Poor old Roddy. Yeah, I don't say yeah, that was quite nice. Yeah, but he thinks it's real, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, well, he's going to Oh! Can I come back on? Well, <laughs> this is Big Brother. Housemates, listen very carefully. It's not oh, yeah. It's no. not in a million years. Yeah. As you have just seen, Rodrigo, Charlie and Dogface must learn royal etiquette for their part of this week's shopping task. Okay. Whilst Big Brother is in genuine contact with the palace, the Queen has yet to agree to an audience with Rodrigo. Oh, oh my God. Therefore, Big Brother has hired a Queen lookalike yes. to have yes. with Rodrigo yes. later today. Good. Housemates, in order that Rodrigo, Charlie and Dogface pass their part in this week's shopping task, oh my God. you must all convince Rodrigo that he is genuinely meeting the Queen today. Yes, yes, oh, yes. Really yes. Nice. That's brilliant, yeah. Furthermore, right. if all housemates, including Charlie and Dogface, convince Rodrigo that he has genuinely met the Queen, housemates will win five tokens and every housemate including Rodrigo, <gasps> will win a brilliant individual prize to be delivered over the next few months. Oh my God! We're going to get a special prize if we keep it. A brilliant special prize. Yeah. <laughs> 
1.42 p.m. B and Halfwit are in the kitchen. You nervous about Friday? No. No? Uh, I'm pretty sure Marcus is going to go. Really? Yeah. Is that just a feeling? Huh? Is that just a feeling? No, it's a... Uh... Well, I've survived so many evictions so far, um, and Marcus has said that he wants to go, so hopefully um, his fans will vote for him and my fans will vote for him, and it's all business-like. We'll get it done. <clears throat> How would you feel if I went? Um, not sure, really. It has been a horrible week. Yep. Just trying not to think about it too much, to be honest. Uh huh. Rodrigo has been in the diary room for 17 minutes. Rodrigo, how are you feeling about taking tea with the Queen this afternoon? I feel like I'm dreaming. I feel like it's not real, you know. I just feel the happiest person in the world, you know, I came to the show, uh, people already know how much I love the country, now I talk to the person who represents the country, you know. Some of the housemates are in the garden. Oh, I could have had a cup of tea. Oh, so I was actually supposed to be making one and then Freddie came in and I just wanted to get out of the kitchen, to be honest. Yeah, I just asked him how he felt about Friday. Yeah, all right. I said, do you feel confident? Yeah, I'm pretty confident Marcus will go. His head's up his own arse, I hate it. It's one person I will not have anything to do with if I'm on the outside world, trust me. I'll never keep in contact with him, ever. I don't care. I think he's do just... Do you think people will see me, though, as, like, being two-faced to him? Well, if the public were in here, they'd understand what he was on about. They're not living with him. They don't actually know what's gone on. They haven't saw everything about him. I've lived with him for ten weeks. By the way, I've... And it's actually, I hope they, I hope they do get an accurate portrayal. You know, I've done absolutely fuck all wrong, and he's just started. Being I just weird think he, he, if anybody's got a game, it's him. It's him. I really thought everyone was joking with me. It's so happy. <laughs> no, I, I really thought it was joking. I was like, no, 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 she watched this show. Oh, no, yeah. she watched it. <laughs> She's seen all of us. Oh my god! It is. She's a fan, Roddy. Yeah. Rodrigo, well done. I do my heart. Do my heart. Can you imagine all the people, Rodrigo? Oh my god! Do my heart. Imagine all these things we will never, never imagine would happen in my life. Oh, well done. Two twenty eight PM Marcus and Halfwit are in the living room talking about B. This is all part of my big brother experience. Like I did throw myself into it completely, full heartedly, and had some ups and downs, and some massive highs and some catatonic horrible lows. And like, you know, fuck it though, like I'm done with that shit now. Like done with reject the drama. Reject the glaring, probing silence when I ask a question and just be like, whatever, I don't actually care. I should not even, like, bother asking questions. I'm not even that interested in the answer of, like, how would, how would you feel if I went home this week? Probing glare. <laughs> I don't know how I'd feel this week. It has been a pretty horrible week. <laughs> 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 Fucking hell. You sad little girl. Like, fucking hell. 